the name of humanitarianism, the U.S. forces are busy trying to occupy Haiti. Yeah. And they will not succeed. Haitians were the first slaves who liberated themselves by armed struggle. And they, and they, they have never stopped paying the price for, for that. As soon as they liberated themselves, the victorious representatives of the French Revolution came with their gunboats and forced payments, redemption payments from the Haitian people for what, you know? Because the white slave owners, the French, had been deprived of the slaves and they must be compensated. What about the people whose lives had been destroyed for 200 years as slaves who'd given so much to build France and so much to build the white slave owners? They, of course, were not entitled to any, any compensation. And then, American founding fathers, who were fighting against the British because they, they didn't get consulted over small amounts of taxation. They were not really particularly oppressed, but they fought for their liberation. But the very same people who were fighting against, the, against Britain for their liberation were actually slave owners. George Washington, John Adams, Benjamin Franklin, Thomas Jefferson, all these big liberators were all slave owners. They couldn't tolerate that 900 miles from the United States there was a country that had been liberated by slaves by armed struggle. So they all joined and Haiti has never stopped paying the price. It's time that humanity raised its voice against the continued subjugation of countries like Haiti and help them in a meaningful way. And if US forces should continue to stay there, as they have, either through the UN or directly. They, they, these people are not even allowed to elect their president. They elected a radical priest, Father Jean Baptiste Aristide. He wasn't allowed to serve his time. He's been forced to leave his country. He's in exile in South Africa, has asked to come back so that he could help with the rescue work. But no, the Americans and their puppets say, you cannot come to your own country. This is the world we, we live in. And we comrades need to be together with each other. We have also here representatives of all African uh, uh, People's Revolutionary Party. Comrade Asari, Comrade uh, uh, Tinda, Com Comrade Mpiani, Penyan. And Comrade, may, may I welcome you. One of the things that imperialism does, as Kim il -sung said, was that it actually plays all kinds of tricks and it div divides the working class. It uses racism and it gets cowardly labor aristocrats who actually propagate racism in the working class. And actually, we ourselves are victim of, victims of it. We keep ourselves compartmentalized. It's like going to an Indian social function. Suddenly, without anybody directing, there are two camps. There are women sitting on one side and men sitting on the other side. And we also do that. There are afro caribbeans there are Africans, there are Asians, there are English, there are I don't know, 100 other, other types, right? We need to be together. And I welcome you, comrade, in that capacity so that we can build greater and greater connections between ourselves and increase cooperation so that they one day we fight for the United States. We have got a comrade from Norway, from a fraternal party, the Red Party, Comrade Bernardson, and uh, we didn't know him. Uh, I, I hear Indeed and Carlos knew, knew him because they went once to, to their camp in, in, in Oslo. And Comrade, may I, where is he sitting? Ah. May, I, may, I, may I welcome you. And very good. <laughs> Two other things. I've already taken too much of your time, so forgive me. Uh, I don't get the chance to speak very often. It's, 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 it's only once a year that I'm allowed to allow. Our honorary president and a veteran communist, Jack Shapiro, should have been here with us tonight. He comes from a very, very well-known communist family. His brother, Michael Shapiro, devoted good part of his life to serving the Chinese Revolution and the Chinese people. He was somebody who was sent by the Communist Party of Great Britain to China to help with the English um, um, uh, version of the uh, uh, Sinwar News Agency. And then he entered Korea soon after his, 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 his uh, arrival in China. He entered Korea as a journalist 
and during the Korean War. And he gave lectures to British soldiers and asked them to repent of their sins, that they should not be waging a war against, against, against the Korean people. For that, he was never allowed to return to his country. So the Shapiro family have a long tradition of being progressive, being communist. And they stood against the tide of Zionism when Zionism was at its height. It's now a much discredited force. But when Zionism was at its height, being Jewish people, they stood with the Palestinian people for the right of self-determination and fought against Zionism. Jack cannot be with us because he was taken ill and was admitted to the hospital. Our party has sent him some flowers and sent him good wishes. I hope you would want me to send your good, good wishes to, to, to Jack. Also, a few days ago, a veteran of the Indian Communist Movement, member of the uh, Politburo of the Communist Party of India, Marxist Jyoti Basu, passed away. He was 95, but all the same, he was he his death was a sad occasion, and um, we we would like to send condolences from this meeting. I hope I have your permission to 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 do, to do so to his father.